Well, good morning, and we're actually in the hen house here with them. There is Olive, Babs, and Mabel, and Ginger. And you can see they're all getting on, which is great. But when I first got them, they really argued, they henpecked each other, they fought, they brought blood. It was not a good time for them or for me. And it took about three weeks before they really got on. And today's service is about getting on. It's about loving our neighbours, it's about being kind. And so let's pray together. Dear Father, thank you for your creation. Thank you for these hens. Thank you for the sunshine. Thank you for the chance to worship you together today. May you bless us, may you fill us with your spirit. Amen. I'll just let you see them for a few more minutes. And then we're going to sing a song together and it's called, Is There a Plank Stuck in Your Eye? Strange title for a song, but it's based on the passage we're going to hear later and it has deep meaning even though it's a very short song. Hello. The reading can be found in Matthew 7, verses 1 to 5, and then 15 to 20. Judging others. Do not judge, or you will be judged. For in the same way as you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye, and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite. First take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Moving on to verse 15. A tree and its fruit. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. By their fruit you will recognise them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, by their fruit, you will recognise them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Kath, for the reading. And uh, it's quite an interesting passage, isn't it? That Jesus does have a sense of humour and he, he said um, well he said don't point out the speck in your brother's eye when you've got a massive log in your own I mean if I had this in my eye I couldn't reach my brother's eye to sort it out or I couldn't see clearly so Jesus says take out the log in your own eye then you can see clearly to take out the speck in your brother's eye 
It didn't literally mean a log and a speck of sawdust. He meant sort out your own life first, your own difficulties, your own problems, before you start pointing out things that are going wrong in somebody else's life. Remember, when you point your finger, three fingers pointing back at yourself, and one at the person you're pointing to. So Jesus is saying, sort yourself out. Sort out your attitude. Sort out the way you think. And then, you know, when you talk to somebody else, their problem might not actually be as bad as you first thought. Because you, your attitude has changed. Now, in the next part of the reading, Jesus says that you'll know the good people and the bad people by their fruit. Now, I've got two trees here and they look very similar. They've both got fruit on them. But if you look closely, one has got good fruit and one has got bad fruit. Now, the bad fruit one is this one. And if I show you, it's just starting to get little black dots and go yellow. It's starting to rot. And if we look at the back of them, it's got words on. And this one says hurtful, unloving. What other bad fruit is there? Anger, selfishness, unkindness, hate, joyless, cruel and rude. All those horrible things that we don't want. And I don't know about you, but in this pandemic, sometimes those are the attitudes that I've had when things haven't been going how I wanted or it's just not been, I've been anxious and judging people and and that isn't what Jesus wants us to be like. He said that by our fruit we'll be known. It's what's inside us comes out and makes that fruit. So if Jesus is inside us, if he is changing our hearts and our minds, then our fruit will be good fruit. So if we're feeling a bit angry, a bit rude, we can pray about it and God can change our hearts. He can change us to make our fruit better fruit. Let's see what the good fruit is on this tree. Goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, love, peace, joy, kindness, patience. Aren't they all attitudes and feelings and what we would like to be like. Now the children in year four in parish school, they've been thinking about how they've been helping people during the pandemic, what they've done that has made people's lives better. They've been showing good fruit. And we're going to watch a little video in a bit that they have made. And they have written about what they've done that's been good. And they've made little, little video clips of how they helped their parents, their grandparents, their friends, their families. They've been kind. During the pandemic, do you remember that there was a little phrase going on and it said that you can be anything in this world. And if you can be anything in this world, then just be kind. And sometimes we forget that, don't we? And we complain and our fruit is bad and we need to have good fruit. Jesus said, don't judge because you will be judged. He said, do to other people what you want them to do to you. So let's try and remember, with God's help and Jesus changing our lives, that we can be kind. We can have all this good fruit in our lives. May we know God's presence. May we know his spirit in our lives, filling us with this good fruit. Amen.
my parents were busy with work and we were painting the back garden. So I decided to take care of the dogs and feed them and it was really appreciative for my parents. Perfect. <laughs> During the pandemic, me and my friends sent letters to each other to make each other smile. My si one time my sister accidentally told my si my her friend a bad joke, so so I, I tried to help them out as much as I can and, I, and they became friends. I call my granddad, it makes him feel unhappy because he's in isolation and he really appreciates it. And there was this ugly man and he um, didn't have any presents so he went to the store and bought him loads of presents. I'm shopping because she couldn't go out the house. might be 50p a pack and your oranges all juicy and round but the fruit that you be selling you proclaim with all your yelling is not compared to fruit that I have found cause the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace patience, kindness, goodness faithfulness gentleness self the fruit you have will last you by a week. So listen to these lasting words I speak. Oh, I've got fruit you can't see that's growing there inside me. It makes me like the saviour that I seek. Because the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. A gentleness, self-control. God's put it in Galatians 5.2.2. Oh, trust him, because what he says is true. So ask the Holy Spirit to fill you without limit and let him grow his special fruit in you too. Because the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, Goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control. Let's just respond to what we've heard. Lord, we want to see people through your eyes and see situations as you see them. Lord, Lord we, we give, give you our, our eyes. eyes. Lord, we want to hear your voice speaking to us and hear the needs of people around us. Lord, Lord we, we give, give you our ears. ears. Lord, we want to speak your words words that are truthful and kind and which build others up. Lord, Lord we, we give, give you our mouths. Lord, we want to use our hands and our feet to serve you, going to the places you taught us to and doing the things you want us to do. Lord, we, we give, give you our hands and our feet. Lord, we want to love you with our whole hearts 
and love our neighbours as ourselves. Lord, we give you our hearts. Lord, we want to obey you, so we offer you all that we are and all that we have. Not our will, Lord, but your will be done in our lives. Lord, we give you our lives. Amen. As the weather warms up, the parish woodland is springing into life with the trees becoming green. And it's more of an attractive place. The bowlers are returning to the bowling ground and people are starting to ask about using the woodland. Let's pray now. As we think of our living God, creator of all things, creator of us, creator of the natural world around us. And when I say, Lord, in your mercy, would you reply, hear our prayer. So we pray, O oh Lord, for our local community. And we think of this particular space where people could gather and we pray that people might be able to gather safely and know the blessing of a green space outdoors and know the blessing of human contact. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Nettles are some of the first plants to grow in the spring. Of course, you can get a nasty sting Lord, when we have used words that are harsh and stinging and cruel, not kind, forgive us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The weather has been so dry of late that we've been watering the new trees we've planted in the woodland. And Lord, as water helps the trees to grow, so may the water of your Holy Spirit pour into our lives, cleansing us, refreshing us, and fitting us for your service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The paths in the woodland are a blessing, helping to guide people in between the trees. And Lord, as you guide us in our lives, may we follow your paths of righteousness and holiness and purity and kindness. Keep hatred far from us. May love, your love, guide us and lead us in your paths of peace for your name's sake. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Stuart Way passes the woodland and hundreds of children and families pass this way every day to and fro going to school or visiting the cemetery on Rainford Road. Lord, we pray for all those children and teachers and staff at our schools Help them to cope in these continuing days of the pandemic and as these exams approach in this summer term. And we pray for all who have lost loved ones and who have visited this crematorium and the cemetery. We pray for all who mourn, all who grieve, that you would comfort them and they would turn to you in their hour of grief. We think of especially of those We've lost loved ones recently and we pray for the family and friends of Anne Bevington. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. There's a tree in the woodland at the northeast corner that was carrying a huge load 
of ivy and it was really overweighted with this massive amount of ivy and we were advised to chop it down here at the base and give the, the tree a chance to flourish. I can see a goldfinch in this tree right now chattering away and Lord we come to you as we are some of us may be carrying a great weight maybe it's the weight of our sin or our grief or for whatever reason we feel loaded down Lord may the surgery of your Holy Spirit and what you did on the cross Lord Jesus free us from our sins and bring us into your glorious freedom the freedom of the children of God so that like this little goldfinch we might be able to sing for joy and once again praise your name Lord in your mercy hear our prayer we planted fruit trees in the woodland apple and pear and cherry Lord we thank you for the teaching of the fruit of your spirit love joy peace patience kindness goodness gentleness faithfulness and self-control and Lord we do pray that all of the fruit of your spirit might grow in our lives because you are in our lives transforming us from the inside out Lord help us to walk with you closely each day this week Lord in your mercy hear our prayer the paths in the woodland are not yet wheelchair accessible we hope they will be at some point the Lord we pray for all who are not fully mobile need help moving around and we pray for all who love and care for them and our attitudes towards those who are not as able-bodied as perhaps we are Lord give us your compassion your kindness your love Lord in your mercy hear our prayer I can see bowlers using the bowling green once again. It's great to see. Lord, we pray for all who engage in sport in our community, all who prepare the grounds, all the teams. Lord, we thank you for the wonderful gift of physical exercise and sport. We think of all the controversy this week about the uh, proposed European Super League and Lord we offer you the aspect of money and how it's used in sport Lord may your gifts be treasured and used rightly bless all in our borough who are involved in sport Lord in your mercy hear our prayer. Houses back onto the woodland and Lord we pray for all our neighbours at home, at work and in the community. May we have good relationships, may we be good neighbours, may we love as you have loved us and care for our neighbours. Lord in your mercy hear our prayer. a tiny wren singing its heart out just in the center of the picture Lord thank you for all the beautiful birds of your creation we praise you the earth is the Lord's and all its fullness Lord in your mercy hear our prayer if you'd like information on how to give financially to St Helen's Parish Church, also known as St Helen, then hit pause now and jot down the details here. Thank you.
coming up next Sunday, the 2nd of May, it's the service of the word. We'll still be in Matthew 7, looking at the good and bad, bad trees. Emma Howarth will be preaching. It's 10 o'clock in church and pre-recorded online. And advance notice in two weeks time, our annual meeting on the 9th of May will take place. Contact the office or go via the website for more details. And there'll be more details on timing next week. Today it's a thank you to Kath for reading, Jill for leading and preaching, and to our year four children from Parish CE Primary for their pictures and stories, and Nigel for editing. And finally, let's praise God in song again. In the words of the great old hymn, take my life and let it be.
So may God's peace and his grace fill our hearts and our minds today and always. Amen. <laughs>